Hey everybody, Chris here from Protocase with another Proto Tech Tip. And today, I'm gonna to show you how to add rubber feet to your custom enclosure inside Protocase Designer. Rubber feet are a simple addition to your custom enclosure that can have a big impact. Rubber feet elevate your enclosure from above the surface on which it's sitting on. Having your enclosure elevated is useful because it can help with the ventilation from your components and it can also serve a purpose of space. Rubber feet can also prevent your enclosure from sliding around on a tabletop surface and also protect the surface from being scratched. If you want to learn about other effective ways of ventilating your enclosure, check out our tech tip videos on louvers and perforated sheet metal. And today, since we are talking about Protocase Designer, it's important to note that the library manager inside the software contains an extensive list of cutouts that you can use for your next custom enclosure design to help with the ventilation. So here at Protocase, we stock two different kinds of rubber feet, one that's attached by a fastener, while the other is attached via an adhesive. To learn more about the different rubber feet that we stock in their respective sizes, we also did a tech tip about that, so check that out. We've linked that video in the description below. Now let me show you how to add rubber feet to your design inside Protocase Designer. I've got a 2U extruded aluminum enclosure already open inside the 3D viewer, and I've already placed my proper cutouts for the connectors and fans that are going to be connected inside the enclosure. Now, I'm going to rotate my model to go to the bottom of my enclosure because that's where I want to add my rubber feet. I'm going to click on Edit Face and then select the bottom face. Now that I'm in the face editor, I can add my rubber feet. From here, I'm going to click on Library at the top or the left side of the screen and then click on Open Library. I'm going to then choose the Hardware tab and then on the Rubber Feet folder to see the four rubber feet that are available. So each rubber foot ranges in height from 0.23 to 0.50 inches, so this may factor into your decision making when choosing which rubber foot is best suited for your enclosure design. As well, a small rubber feet take a 632 thread, the medium take an 832 thread, and the large take a 1024. And with tapered rubber feet, you won't see a thread because these are adhesive and will simply stick to the bottom of your enclosure. I'm going to select a small rubber foot and then click place this item. I'm going to place this rubber foot just like you do any other custom cutout or component from the library manager. And then of course, in order to have a stable enclosure, I'm going to place three more rubber feet to the bottom of the enclosure on each corner. Our engineering team recommends placing your rubber feet at least half an inch or one inch away from the edges of your enclosure. With a very large enclosure, you can go even farther from the edge if required. So now that I'm back in the 3D viewer, I can see the rubber feet that I've placed on my enclosure with the corresponding threaded stud on the inside. So after this design gets placed through the software, it goes through our manufacturing facility. And then as you can see the final product has the four rubber feet attached to the design. It sits on the table perfectly. It doesn't slide, therefore it's not gonna scratch the tabletop surface. And as well, it's elevated from the table, so it's gonna get its proper heat dissipation from the electronics that are gonna be inside of it. So that's it for today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below or email info at protocase.com. And as well, if you haven't already, be sure to download Protocase Designer just to see for yourself how it's the fastest way to design, quote, and build custom electronic enclosures and parts with Protocase. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you all again next week.